coming, I'm coming. Next time I'll get the ball, all right? In the art of volleyball. Know your opponent's mind, victory shall be yours. <laughs> Way to go, Romeo. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I got something in my eye. Oh, you're right. Now, are you gonna cruise, babe, or are you gonna play the game? <laughs> now what? Ain't no sweat. I'll take his place. Careful, old climber. Remember what happened to you the last time you did something strenuous? Put your back out for a week. Hey, don't worry, Grandma. You're looking at the Brooklyn YMCA's ex-champion center. Was that before or after World War II? What? <laughs> well, I'm afraid jumping up and down on hot sand isn't my idea of fun in the sun. So, if you'll excuse me. Sorry to drag you away from your strenuous duties, but you're about to receive some important guests. Mexico's oil minister and the Arab oil cartel. We know it's been in the papers for weeks. Yeah, Mexico's working on some kind of technology deal, right? I'm glad to see you two are keeping up with current events. However, the guests I was referring to are Commander Alex Lassiter and his new bride, Simone. Lassiter, the Navy SEAL? Wasn't he awarded the Medal of Honor during Desert Storm? Yeah, I met him a couple of times back in the United States when I was still with the CIA. The Lassiters are coming to Puerto Vallarta for the honeymoon. I guess you're not calling so we can send over champagne, right? That's right. The FBI says that Lassiter was followed here in New York by two known Iraqi agents. They believe he may be on the Iraqi death squad hit list. Have they offered them official protection? He won't accept it, which is why the job falls to you. What about our cover? Well, as far as Lassiter knows, your friends of a friend of a friend who have generously offered to show them around Puerto Vallarta. That's crazy. Lassiter knows me. He's going to smell a rat. Well, if he does, I'm sure you'll be able to think of some logical explanation. You've always been pretty good at thinking on your feet. Thanks. Ashley, this is Commander Lassiter. Marcos, I want you to pick up a Commander Lassiter and his wife. They're flying in from Mexico City. Gentlemen, it is with great honor that I welcome you to my country. We are honored to be here. Please come with me. I have prepared a reception in the dining room. Can I help you with something, Ashley? Well, actually, I had asked the concierge to send some flowers up to the honeymoon suite. And I was going to see whether he'd organized it. I took care of it personally. You did? Yes, I did. Thank you, Claudio. That's very kind of you. Mike, it's all set. <sighs> he should be here any minute. What's he like? Well, he's a nice guy. Low key, good sense of humor. Come on, see for yourself. Hello. Here you go. Thanks. Gracias. Well, I can't wait to get out of my suit. Hmm, I can't wait to help you. Commander Lassiter. Nice to see you again. Mike Savage. Well, do I know you? Um, maybe not. My mistake. I thought I met you before. This is Ashley Hunter Cuttington. How do you do? Welcome to Puerto Vallarta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is my uh, beautiful wife, Simone. 
Nice to meet you. Hello. Anyways, why don't you two get checked in and then later on Ashley and I will show you around. Thanks. Hey, where the hell are the bags? Alex. So, go check in. You have to excuse Alex. He's just a bit tired. Oh, I know the feeling. Don't worry about it. Coming, darling? Is something wrong? He knows me. I've met him three or four times. I can't believe he didn't remember me. But I was in no big hurry to explain what an ex-spook is down here working on the welcoming committee. So maybe his bad memory is a blessing. I don't know. Maybe. Come on. Lassiter is here on his honeymoon, so we don't want to cramp his style. Since he refused official protection, keep the surveillance loose and try to look like you're having fun. Alex insisted we come here instead of the Riviera. This is quite a special place, isn't it, darling? The best. <laughs> Even better than Atlantic City. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. I haven't seen all the sights yet. I don't want to go upstairs now. There's no arguing with a new husband. <laughs> <laughs> They're heading your way, high dive. OK, we'll keep an eye on him for you. Boy, Lasseter's has wound up tighter than a drum. What was that about Atlantic City? I saw him there a few years ago at a Defense Department seminar. It's possible that he could have forgotten me, but... Strange that he'd forget a whole city. Exactly. of the hotel, sir. Thanks. Here. Hey, honey, look what the hotel gave us. Oh, how nice of them. Let's have it out here, darling.
anything? No, not yet. I think we should come back and make a more thorough search. I regret having to question you in your time of grief, Commander, but uh, I am afraid you have to answer my questions. Where exactly were you when your wife fell from the balcony? I was in the bathroom showering. So you didn't see the accident? No, I opened a bottle of champagne. We drank. Excuse me, Commander. I checked with room service. They show no records of champagne ordered by you. I didn't order it. The waiter brought it. He said it was complimentary. I checked that also. Nobody remembers authorizing it. This waiter, do you remember what he looked like? I don't know. Dark hair, mustache, maybe. I... Look, I don't recall. Do we have to do this now? I'm afraid not. Look, she's always... dead. Don't you people understand that? Um, can the rest of your questions wait until the commander's feeling better? I have no more questions. I am satisfied that the senora's death was nothing more than a terrible and tragic accident. Please accept my deepest regrets, Commander. And mine as well, Commander, on a behalf of the hotel. Buenas tardes. <laughs> Look, if there's anything we can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. She's gone, I don't believe it. Alex, I don't think you should spend the night alone. No, I'm okay. Please, let Mike stay with you. What I don't get is how trained assassins would pick off Simone when the real target was showering in the next room. Look at the windows. Man. Hey. No. Wait for her. What the hell were you dreaming about? Come on, maybe I can help. I'm tied up in a room. There are these... There are no windows, and there are these men... Men without faces, and they're saying things that, uh, that I can't hear and doing things that I can't feel. How long have you been having this dream? Over the last two years. Until I met Simone. These men without faces. Do you have any idea who they are? You know, Alex, don't get me wrong, but there's doctors in the Navy that can help you with these kind of problems. They're specialists. What are you saying? I'm crazy? No. Forget it. You all right? Okay. Go back to sleep. Simone mentioned that um, you both met in New York. Is that a long time ago? No, three months ago. We hit it off that night, went to lunch the next day, and uh, pretty much right then I knew Simone was the one for me. Yeah, you know, I haven't had much peace in my life, you know. I, uh, first time I ever felt that peace was in her arms. Listen, can we get out of here? Can I take you for a drive? Great. Right. Okay. I'll take you past Conchastinas along the coast. It's really beautiful. Well, maybe it'll help.
guy must be drunk. You did not see who was driving the car? No, it'll happen much too quickly. And you're certain it was no accident? How can I possibly be certain? I mean, maybe it was a drunk driver. Could they have possibly been trying to hit Alex? No, it wasn't even close. Mike, it's all so strange. The accident, the balcony, Alex's nightmares. What about those nightmares? I keep wondering what triggered them. You said they started two years ago. What happened two years ago? The twins beat the Braves in the World Series. And the Allies defeated Saddam in the Gulf. Bingo. Two years ago, Alex came back from Desert Storm. Mike, I know this sounds far-fetched, but I'm convinced that there is some correlation between Simone's death and Alex's nightmares. everywhere. Tony Lasser's just disappeared. Don't worry, we'll find him. Unless Claudio finds him first. Hey, fellas. Alex, we were wondering where you were. I had to get out. I went for a walk. We're about to have lunch. Will you join us? We'll catch up with you in a little bit. Thanks, guys. Something's definitely wrong here. Alex, walking on the beach by himself. A perfect target. Why isn't he dead? Maybe we missed something, huh? I got here as fast as I could. Good luck. You're saying something about a ring? A bird? What? No, no, not a bird, a dove. Damn. Could you make any sense of that at all? None. I'm afraid my Arabic's a bit rusty. Were you able to trace the call? Yeah. Baghdad. I've been monitoring all the calls to the Arab suite, just in case. The last phone call that came in triggered the computer alert system because the call originated from a known terrorist safe house. Where does that leave us? With a mystery that started somewhere back during Desert Storm. That's it. Want to play him again? Unless you have a better plan. How about a jacuzzi? OK, one more time. I'm looking for some traumatic event that might have happened during that mission, which would have had a profound impact on his consciousness. What are you talking about? Talking about Alex's nightmares. Well, the Pentagon said he was on a 10-day, one-man mission, during which time he was in and out of contact with his radio base. How many days did you say? 10. Mike, stop it. OK, go back. Look, check the numbers. There are two whole days missing. Well, maybe our ever-efficient Mr. Smith didn't send us all the photographs. Wrong. All 
the photographs are numbered and they're in sequence. Check it out. Well, how could two days possibly be missing? You tell me. Maybe I'd better round up Brett and Tommy boy. As they say in the Navy SEALs, it's time for a little growl and prowl. I got this from the phone tap. Must be some kind of a code. Destroy the dove. Dove, that word again. Dove, ring, trigger. Does that mean anything to you? I don't understand it, but get this. The person who took the call from the cartel suite, it might have been Ali Mustafa. Mustafa? Why do you think that? FBI voice recognition database. I mean, it didn't match perfectly, but it's close enough. The only problem is I, I can't get a recent ID photo of Mustafa. Apparently he's had a lot of facial surgery. <laughs> These are from the balcony railing that broke loose at the honeymoon suite. Claudio says the hotel's only three years old. It's built as solid as a rock. So why would a balcony railing suddenly break loose? Unless it was deliberate. And look at the fresh screwdriver marks all over the heads of those bolts. Well, I guess we can rule out an accident, partner. Definitely. This is Springboard. Go ahead, Deep End. Springboard, I'm at the rear of the hotel parking lot. Target is speaking with an Arab. Patch us in, Deep End. As soon as we hear from your friend back at the suite, now return to the hotel. Uh-oh, gotta go. Target's on the move again. I want to know what Lazarus' assignment is, and I want to know fast. Operator, may I help you? A young lady has collapsed in the corridor. She's in my suite. Don't move her. Dr. Chavez will be right at showtime. Dr. Chavez, senor. Just relax, everything will be all right. Oh, oh. Shuki? Uh, yeah, it's probably just the heat. Uh, some cold water on her face might help. The bedroom's through there. Oh, okay. Smelling salts are a bit much, aren't they? Yeah, yeah I like to be authentic. Listen, buy me some time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll wait for you in here, senora.
destroy the dove? Springwood, this is Strong. Do you read me? Loud and clear. It seems as though a hero has come here for more than just his honeymoon. Sure, the fact said Lassiter is the assassin. Absolutely, my Eric's rusty, but not that rusty. So we don't know when or where this hit's gonna happen. None. I can't believe you turned. <sighs> Neither can I. Which brings us back to my theory about those two missing days. If he really was captured, why didn't they just kill him? Well, maybe he was worth more alive than he was dead. Brainwashing. Of course, very clever. Tom, you're into the Zen mind control stuff. Can you run through it for us? Well, my guess is they'd use a combination of drugs and physical restraint to make Alex feel helpless. They alternate between torture and reward until he's totally broken down. He's got no will of his own. Low lives. Yeah, and once he's completely lost his will, they plan a trigger. And it's every time he hears or sees it, he acts accordingly. Don't want to do their own wet work, so they turn one of our guys. And the only way they'd be sure he'd follow orders would be to run a test. Simone. Well, we're gonna have to untrigger him. Well, if we can find out what the trigger is, we can use it to reprogram his mind. We don't have the time for that. Is there any more, Tommy? Well, to make sure he wasn't accidentally triggered, they'd use something that's unusual or not indigenous to the area. Like a scarab. I found one in the hotel suite. I left it on the table. Maybe it's still there. Uh-oh, he's coming out. Get the scarab? Got Board. This is platform. Come in. We've lost the cab. I've got them platform. They're heading north on the main drag. How long, amigo? Four and a half. Well, they're either heading towards the airport, the marina, or the bull ring. Wait a minute. The bull ring. Didn't Ashley overhear the Arabs talking about a ring on that phone call? That must be it. The season starts today. And isn't Senor Sanchez doing the opening ceremonies this year? And the oil cartel members, they're guests of honor. I'll bet you one of them's going to be Lasseter's target. Platform, this is High Dive. I found the scarab. Okay, tell Sarong and the others. Rendezvous outside the bull ring, pronto. <laughs> of a time finding Alex in this crowd. This is Sarong. Do you read me? Yeah, so far nothing. Listen, you guys go that way. I'm going this way, right? Okay.
platform. This is deep end. We got him. That's one of the guys I saw Alex talking to in the parking lot yesterday. Okay, I'll stick with him. You take the command. Mando. Platform, this is deep in. Yeah, deep in, where are you? On the east side near a men's room. Okay, keep searching the bleachers. I'm gonna be down below. Look. They've lost him. Can't take that entrance. We're going to run. Iraqis captured you. They used this to brainwash you. They made you kill your wife. That's what all the bad dreams were about. Trust me, your friend. No! We saw a man on the roof with a rifle. Realizing he wasn't one of your men, the commander climbed up on the roof and wrestled for possession of the gun. They fell off and... And when they fell to the ground, what did you do then? Well, I came in to help the commander. But by the time I got there, the gun went off twice. 
It is a story of great convenience. What do you mean by that? Only one person lives to tell it. Are you suggesting that I'm lying? Oh, no, 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 Sir Savage. What would be your purpose? You tell me, Colonel. The bottom line is an American war hero died today, saving the life of your oil minister. For which Senor Sanchez is most grateful. Your friend, I'm very sorry what happened, Colonel. What he did was truly very brave and unselfish. My country will always be indebted to him. Sherry Dashley, buenas tardes. Señor Savage, aburro. It's clear that by using Lassiter for the assassination, the Iraqis are trying to implicate the American government. He almost got away with it, too. The president has asked me to convey his thanks to the Heat team. It's fine effort to uphold Commander Lassiter's image as a true American hero. Tell Mr. President it was our privilege. Too bad Alex didn't live to know the truth. Well, we all share your regret, Mike. To make sure that Commander Lassiter attains his rightful place in history, he was buried today with full military honors. Simon was buried next to him. It's too bad we couldn't have been there. You'll also be pleased to know that Hamid has been indicted for terrorism. Well, that's one consolation. And here's another. The oil cartel is preparing to offer Mexico financial aid even as we speak. Thanks to the Heat team, a brave American's image wasn't tarnished and U.S.-Mexican relations didn't receive a permanent black eye. And accustomed as I am to saying this, I'm very proud to be associated with you. All of you. Careful there, Mr. Smith. That sounds like an outright compliment to me. Oh, thanks for reminding me, Michael. I wouldn't want to totally destroy my image. To the real hero. To Commander Lassiter. To Commander Lassiter.
week off. Absolute bliss. Did you meet anybody at the club last night? Yeah, right. A bunch of airheads. Man, what do you want? Conversation or romance? I don't know. Both would be nice. Me, I want a blonde. Big smile, white teeth, and a good sense of humor. Well, she's sitting right next to you, but she's off limits. Yeah, and she also reads too much. Hey, your brains are gonna explode if you keep doing that, you know? Me? Yeah, you. What are you reading? It's none of your business. Touchy, touchy. Yeah. Hardcover, bad sign. Yeah, she took off the dust jacket. That's another bad sign. Mm-hmm. Too small for a technical book. Yeah, it's way too thin for a novel. Very suspicious. Mm. Pornography. <laughs> it is not. Well, let's see it then. Come on. You guys are driving me crazy. What, what you say? say? You totally humiliated me last night. I humiliated you? Yeah. I took you to the fights, ringside seats, and who do you insult Howie Chase? One of the great fight promoters of the business. First of all, I didn't want to go. And second of all, all I did was ask him to extinguish his cigar. Might I suggest we just take it? You know something, Ashley? Since the rest of the world doesn't understand your concept of good manners, maybe you can try and understand theirs. What exactly is that supposed to mean? It means that everybody wasn't raised in a 20-room mansion with hot and cold running Look, service. why don't we just calm down? I will not calm down. I'm being insulted. You insulted my friend. Your friend? You've never even met the man. If you ever, ever use that patronizing tone of voice with me ever again, I'll... You what? Look, why don't we just calm down and have a nice glass of iced tea? Iced tea. Oh, don't even try with that gentleman stuff. Right? Good afternoon, Mike. Ashley, how are things in paradise? We have an emergency on our hands. There's been a spate of deaths in Europe caused by the sale of contaminated fish. The lab is finding traces of uranium-235 and carbon-14. Radioactive fish? We've traced the source to Peligro, an island off the coast of Costa Rica. It's a small island not much more than a fishing village, and a resort hotel used exclusively by honeymooners. Hotel Eros. So we go in with the fashion show? You go in with each other. Honeymooners? Do you have a problem with that? Oh, nothing that a good divorce lawyer can't take care of. <laughs> Perfect. You sound married already. Hotel Eros is owned and operated by Jack Ballantyne. Interesting character. He's suspected of stealing medical supplies in Afghanistan and hijacking relief food in Somalia, but he's never been convicted. What does he do for an encore? Beat up Mother Teresa? The question is, what is he doing that is resulting in radioactive byproducts? And just for the record, is there any reason the locals are moving in on this? The Costa Rican police force just isn't equipped to handle the problem. So it's up to heat. Happy honeymoon, people. Where are you going? Buy some negligee? Eros, honeymoon capital of the world. I'm Vivian, your director of entertainment, and my job is to make sure that this is the most special, most romantic time of your life. And your job is to enjoy each other. Well, let me tell you, 
We've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I want you all to know that we at Hotel Eros have a very special record. Not one of our couples has ever been divorced. <laughs> so, with a bit of luck, you're all going to help me keep that record, aren't you? I'm sure there's only so much luck in the universe. <laughs> so what's the story on the launch in case we need to get back to the mainland? Now, why would you want to do that? I don't know, in case I have to pick up some goodies from my honey. Oh, naughty, naughty. I'm sure you'll find our shopping arcade, Lover's Lane, able to cater to your every whim. But if you absolutely must get to the mainland, our launch leaves three times a day. Now, if you'll follow me, your rooms are this way. If she smiles any harder, her teeth are gonna crack. <laughs> welcome, welcome, and again, welcome. My name is Jack Ballantyne. This hotel represents the dream of my life. It's a place where young lovers like yourselves can come and celebrate the start of a new beginning. Now I trust that Vivian here has started your day off in the right mood. Honey, don't you have something you want to ask Mr. Valentine? Oh, uh, y yes, I I'm a horticulturalist, and I was wondering if there was any chance of me checking out the jungle around here. Well, as you will read in the guest book that you will find in your rooms, you are most strenuously urged not to venture outside the hotel grounds. But to our travel agent... Please. Please, my warning simply is meant to secure your happiness. Now my staff will be most happy to show you to your rooms. What do you think? I think Brett and Kat should take a walk on the wild side. Happy honeymooners! Having fun? He scared us. We were just uh, taking a little hike. Well, watch out for the thorns and remember, don't wander off too far. Samba lessons at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Can hardly wait. <laughs> I don't know, but I bet it ain't happy honeymooners having fun. That hotel security guard was pretty heavily armed, wasn't he? I guess Valentine wasn't kidding about those dangerous animals. The two-legged or the four-legged kind. Bed's a beauty, isn't it? Firm yet soft, kind of like me. Come on, let's be friends. Have a little bounce. Michael, you can't insult me and then make nice. OK, I get the point. Hey, <clears throat> let's go fishing. Do you have to wear that thing? It's my lucky fishing hat. Speaking of fishing, it's odd, isn't it? All these reported deaths in Europe caused by peligro fish. And yet none from the very place the fish originated from. Valentine must have known from the start. He's got this place sealed up tighter than Fort Knox. Agricorp. Chairman of the board, Jack Valentine. Offices in Paris, Johannesburg, and Costa Rica. Net assets over $400 million. Well, he's a bit of a paper tiger. A holding company for many different interests, including an air freight company and a global shipping company. Thanks. Sounds like Mr. Valentine's got his finger in a whole lot of pie holes. So how's the honeymoon going? Compared to a trip to the dentist, it's been absolutely delightful. My mosquito bites have mosquito bites. 
And if I see one more cup of kissing, I'm gonna throw up. I had no idea you were such a romantic. Did you check out that bed? Yeah, by myself, unfortunately. Yeah, me too. What do you think it's like, this love thing, anyways? You mean for more than two days? What's the matter, sweetheart? Just get me out of here. What's the matter, Ash? That man in the turquoise bathing suit? Yeah? I think he's Red Brigade. Are you sure? I researched them for three months. At MI6? No. Ashley, speak to me, sweetheart. My father was ambassador to Rome. The Red Brigade tried to kidnap him. My mother got in the way. I got obsessed by them, trying to understand why my mother. I just, I needed to understand them. You know, sometimes understanding is a whole lot easier than feeling. How could I not have known this about you, Ash? I don't talk about it very often. Listen, I'll be okay. It was a long time ago. If there's anything I can do, sweetheart, ever, just let me know, okay? Come on. We're only pretending to be married, right? Right. I got the photos of Vivi when was taking of all the guests. That's him. Okay, let's find out who he is. Lorenzo Conti, formerly with the Red Brigade and now supposedly Green Victory. Green Victory? Yeah, they're an environmental organization, but they're uh, very hardcore, you know? 
Okay, thanks, guys. You think Conti's really gone green, or do you think it's a cover? I don't know, but I think it's about time we found some answers. Valentine's guards are so determined to keep us on this side of the island, which leads me to believe all the action must be over on the south side. Now listen, we keep a focus on things. And if Lorenzo's involved, we nail him. Absolutely, we keep this professional. You know, Ash, sometimes you're a pretty tough cookie. I'm overwhelmed by your admiration. There you are, Mr. and Mrs. O'Malley. Oh, aren't you two just the most darling couple? Do you know what? I'm going to sign you up for the limbo contest, and you cannot say no. Well, actually, we had our hearts set on a little fishing. Is there any chance of that? But that's not on the schedule. Please. But Vivian can work wonders, can't she? Follow me. Ungarito, Ungarito, ¿cómo estás, Vivian? Hola. Hola, ¿cómo estás, Ungarito? Sí. Mr. and Mrs. O'Malley want to rent a boat to go fishing. El señor Valentine me dijo que. What's he talking about? He's saying that Mr. Valentine said that we can't. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque él compra todo el pescado. He says that he buys up all the fish. I just want to rent a boat. No podemos alquilar un barco. No, lo que pasa es que el mar es, está muy peligroso y ya perdí tres pescadores. Now he's saying that the sea is very dangerous and that they lost three fishermen recently. Well, I'm awfully sorry about that, but tell him we want to rent a boat. I don't think fish is their main priority. If you get my point, Ricardo. Oh, honeymooners. Hey. <laughs> you will be careful, won't you? Careful's my middle name, sweetheart. And remember what Mr. Ballantyne told you. Don't go ashore into the jungle. It is very dangerous. Don't worry about a thing. Adios. Adios. I think we've got company. Conti. High dive. Remember that seaweed that washed up on the village shore? Do me a favor. Keep an eye on it, all right? You got it, platform. up, Aquaman. Let's head for the other side of the island. Would you just leave me alone already? Hey, hey, I'm a cop. I got a natural curiosity. Come on, you're reading something kinky? You can tell me I'm a man of the world. What you are is a pest. Oh, well, I'll stop pestering you if you tell me. Okay. Love poems? You kidding? What? Oh, you getting all romantic because the guys went on a honeymoon, huh? You know, for your information, some of these are very good. And, and, and a little bit of romance is good. Just try it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay what? Okay, I'll try it. Read. You're kidding. No, hit me. But make it good. None of that artsy stuff. Okay. There's one in here from Elizabeth Barrett Browning. She dead? Okay, okay, okay. Go, go. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and the breadth and the height my soul can reach. When feeling out of sight for being an ideal grace, I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need. By sun and candlelight, I love thee freely. The 
goes on. It didn't rhyme. I'll watch the radiation levels. Wrong. Do you read me? I've turned on the Geiger counter and we're heading into the jungle. Loud and clear, Deep End. Be careful. No guts, no glory. High dive, come in, please. Come in, please. I don't know what he's doing. But he's up to something. Well, let me know if anything changes. The radiation count's increasing. You're heading in the right direction. We can hear it. Platform, you're redlining. Return to the boat. Wait a minute. There's something up ahead. Damn it, Platform. Get out of there. Back up. We found the three fishermen. But they didn't drown. They were shot to death. And their skin looks really bad. Radiation burns. Whoever was here is long gone now. They left behind their toys. There's a chopper. There's a chopper coming towards your position. Do you read me? Platform! They must have ID'd us before the chopper blew. And even if they didn't, Valentine's no dummy. He's got eyes all over this island. We have to assume we've blown our cover. That's right. From now on, we're crash status. So, so where do we go? We don't go anywhere. We finish the job. Well, this should be interesting. Cat, you still got an eye on Conti? Oh, I can't believe it. I've lost him. Wait a minute. Target is locked down. Mr. and Mrs. O'Malley, did you find your fishing trip interesting? Very. Really? I understand that your catch was disappointing. Depends on your definition of disappointing. Hmm. This island has such a fascinating history. Did you realize that the original Spanish settlers found nothing but death and misery here? That's why they named it Pelegro. It means danger. Too bad I wasn't much of a history student. You should have been. Studying dead people is a good way to stay alive. As is keeping your nose out of things that don't concern you. Is that right? Well, there's a lot more that stinks around here than just the fish, pal.
cancel the reservation, Carl. With pleasure. Finish him. We can launch from here. Patrols only pass every 10 minutes. Yeah. Is that to do the trick? Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> All clear. What was that? A warning? More like a funeral notice. Where'd Conti go? Vanished. All right, let's get that film developed. Find out what the departure times are and get the hell out of here. Come on. Let's scan it to Chrissy so she can enlarge this print and give us an analysis. I'm doing that right now. Loud and clear, Sarong. We're patching through now. Springboard, we need information quickly. Problems? We may have blown our cover. Where'd they go? What happened? It's dead. Something wrong? Uh, we've lost power. Someone's trashed the motor launch. We didn't lose power. Somebody took it away. Great. Next problem. How are we supposed to get those pictures? Okay, we better do this fast. It's gonna work. It is better. I have to talk to you. I think you got the wrong room, pal. Look, I'm here to help. You're here to help. The Red Brigade is here to help. Isn't that splendid? I'm not with the Red Brigade. 
I'm working with Green Victory. I know who you are. You don't know anything. You're Hunter Coddington's daughter. Look, I had nothing to do with the death of your mother. You have to believe me! Listen, pal, I don't think the lady wants to speak to you right now. My ideals got in the way of my better judgment. I was wrong and people got hurt. I'm trying to make amends for Get that. Get out of here. Listen, if I was working with Ballantyne, I wouldn't have helped you. And we thank you for that. But how do you know Ballantyne is responsible? Oh, come on. We all know that. He runs the island. Or at least he did. He's leaving today. Let us handle this. Look, I really would like to help you. The lady said we can handle it. Thank you. Let's go. Let's find us a boat. Seat taken? You're totally out of contact. You like talking? I may not be too much for poems, but I'm a pretty good talker. They could be hurt. They might need us. They could... We just, we don't know anything. You can't let your brain go down that track. It'll eat you up. This team it means a lot to me. Yeah, me too, me too. You have a big family. You have people that, that care about you. I, I haven't had a family in a long time. My parents died when I was seven. I was shuffled around from an, one foster home to another. I never had that feeling again. Not until you guys. You guys are my family. Come here. Come here to Marcos. Listen, you gotta have faith. There's a God up there, and he's looking out for each and every one of us. I know that. You know it's so bad. You're not gonna be hurt, Chrissy. I promise you, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen, okay? Yeah. Okay, bring the magnifying glass. Now. Another piece of paper, quick. Bingo. Check it out. Lead containers and hot suits can only mean one thing. No wonder the Geiger counter redlined. Yeah, and these missiles look like they're capable of carrying nuclear warheads. We've got ourselves a ship and a problem. A fisherman said Lorenzo had been there ahead of us and rented a boat. Said he was headed for the other side of the island. He's carrying something that sounded an awful lot like explosives. Mike, those missiles, if he detonates them by mistake, we could have a major nuclear incident on our hands. Let's move. What about the O'Malley's? Details, pal. Mere details. Fine, he's just taking a very long nap. This is platform. Be ready to move on my action. Mrs. O'Malley, how good of you to see me on. Kill. 
Move, team, now, now! Bombs under here. It's good. It's very good. Well, I'm glad you like it, now disarm it. I can't. It's got an anti-tamper device. If I disconnect the wire, the whole thing goes. Which gives us how long? What? About 30 seconds. We stopped him. With your help. No. I'm sorry. For everything. We've all made bad decisions in our lives, Lorenzo. Thank you. I'm proud of you. You expected any less? You know something, Mrs. O'Malley? Someday I think you're going to make an exceptional wife. C5 sends their thanks to you all. And with any luck, the waters of Polygra Island will be back to normal in a couple of months. Yeah, well, I'm going to miss those bedrooms. Is there something missing in your report? No. We're just thankful there were no long-term radiation problems. Good. You stopped Ballantyne just in time. He was on the verge of delivering these nuclear warheads to a radical group in Johannesburg. The group planned on using the weapons to undermine the new liberal movement in South Africa. Well, I guess that's the end of the Honeymoon Hotel. To the contrary, Kat. The Costa Rican government has decided to keep Hotel Eros open. They've appointed Vivian Quaid as the new managing director. Way to go, Vivian. What did they do with Lorenzo? Interesting fellow, Mr. Conte. The Costa Ricans decided his environmental aspirations weren't so different from their own. He made his case so convincingly that they're allowing him to establish a wildlife refuge on the south side of Polygar Island. Congratulations all around. You did well. As soon as you guys miss us, Nah. You didn't? Nah. I really did. Thank you, Chrissy. You know, all this happy ending stuff makes me feel kind of romantic. Oh, please. Well, look, I'm not into the marriage thing, but the honeymoon idea is not so bad. You and me, a bottle of champagne, a jacuzzi. Not in your wildest dreams, Irish.